Congratulations, what a fight, what a brilliant way to end 2021 as well. You wanted to leave no doubts this time around, you've done that. Just tell me how you're feeling right now. Um, very happy, very happy with the performance, uh, happy with the improvements that I made from the first fight with Andy and happy we come away with a win, a lot more dominant than the first fight and going into Christmas is a good present. Absolutely, and heading in on the scales yesterday, you were 10 pounds heavier, quite a lot was made of that in the press, but you looked the puncher in there. Did you feel physically strong in there tonight? I felt a lot, uh, a lot stronger than I did in the first fight. Um, and it just comes down to the training that we did. It comes down to being in, in good you know, physical condition. The work that we've done with Andy, you know, I came here early so I can get used to the time zone and get used to you know, the weather and everything. And we had a great camp, um, great atmosphere, great vibe, great fighters around. Um, and thanks to Andy and, and Tyson for a great camp and the rest of the boys. The right uppercut was a real shot of success for you tonight. You had him hurt in the fourth, the seventh and the eighth round. But it was at that point when he, he was sort of cowering in the corner that he seemed at his most dangerous when he was fighting back. Yeah, listen, um, I got too excited a, a few times and Derek's very experienced and he used that tonight, you know, rolling and, and catching the punches and not, not allowing me to, to hurt him when he was hurt or hurt him a lot more. So. I did hurt him a few times, but I just got too excited and it just shows that there's still a lot to work on and we can continue working with Andy in the next camp. A word on Derek Chisora after sharing two fantastic fights with him. Um, he's a credit to the sport, like you said in your post-fight interview with Chris there, but how much respect do you have for the man? I have a lot of respect for Derek, a lot of respect. Uh, before the fight, it was all business. In the ring, it was all business, but um, Derek is a great, great person. You know, um, outside of the rings, he showed a lot of love and care for my family. Appreciate that. And he's... He's done a lot for boxing and he's been in some great fights and he's always, always entertaining. So I've loved, I love sharing the ring with him for 24 rounds. And for you, Joe, you put the pressure on yourself heading into this fight in the sense that if you didn't win, your dreams to become a world champion once again would certainly be sidelined. How good does it feel to have remained on track for that dream uh, tonight? Listen, early Christmas present. I'm happy going into Christmas, uh, all the sacrifice, hard work. Uh, happy that my, fam my family's here, my wife, my kids, and I can't wait to see them after this uh, and enjoy uh, quality time to, with them. Absolutely. Just a, a quick question on the crowd, because at the press conference you said you believed the atmosphere would aid Derek Chisora, but it was absolutely buzzing in here tonight. How much did you thrive off uh, that energy? Listen, you guys heard when he walked out, they were all buzzing for him. You heard when I walked out, they were all boring for me. <laughs> but um, Derek used the crowd and like every time I caught him, he keep coming back. Honestly, just one tough guy, one tough guy of our respect. But does it will you on as well when, when the crowd oh, almost yeah. throwing every punch with you? Yeah, when the crowd was going, you know, I think it gave me a big, a big buzz and it gave him a big buzz as well. And that, that's what makes for an entertaining fight. And you touched on it earlier, but it's a successful night for the gym up in Morecambe uh, tonight with yeah, Jordan yeah. Thompson winning and David Nika as well as of yourself, of course. How strong is the little family unit you're building up there? Very strong unit. Uh, we've had a great camp and I think we said that many times leading into this fight. Um, and it showed. It showed with three of us uh, getting good wins tonight. I really want to let you go and enjoy time with your family, but I just want to ask you one question on the future. We're unsure of the heavyweight landscape and how it's going to unfold in the next few months, but for you personally, what do you hope 2022 holds for you, Joseph? Oh, listen, I just want to have a good break, and then I'm, it's up to Andy, and it's up to Eddie, and it's up to David who I fight next. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care who it is. Um, just get me a good camp so I can train hard and fight anyone. And for your fans watching in New Zealand on the zone tonight, do you have a message for them? New Zealand and Samoa, I love you guys. Thanks for the continued support and for the love. Uh, I can't get back to see you all, but when I do come back, I look forward to it. Joseph Parker, thanks for a great fight and Merry Christmas to you, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you.